Clarence Valley was originally opened up in the 1830s by timber getters looking for Australian red cedar, which is a highly prized decorative timber. Today, this heritage is recognised once a year in the town of Glen Ray by the Glen Ray Timber Festival. Kept that. 
going. So you're cool. the fourth owner. The fourth owner since 1910. So yeah, there's not. It's very rare you can get that history sold, and you actually can document the whole history. The history, yeah. So it's pretty special. Right? Yep. Yeah. I would have looked like that when it was new. It would have been painted two tone. The terminus of the Glen Ray Mountain Railway has a border with the showgrounds. Nothing is currently running on the rails, but members are working on getting the appropriate certification issues solved and hope to have something running in the future. Yeah. Here in the shed is another carriage. And the sign says it's a waiting restoration. Okay, trail rail maintenance speeder. Track gang. Speeder. This one's slightly larger, but without any weather protection. This one that you have to front get it to go. Oh, so it doesn't have a motor. I'm driven by old motorcycle engines. And here's the tender for 1919. And here is Loco. 1919 itself and here is what could be an ex arnott's biscuit van built specially for the or converted specially for arnott's and painted in a bright blue color unfortunately people soon learnt that you could steal biscuits out of them which caused the railway to repaint them in grey Few projects waiting to happen, and one that Timmy's not starting. Yeah. This one's got a long way to go here. We left Glen Ray, having had a wonderful day, and we headed home to Grafton. Okay. Stay tuned for more videos on what we did in Grafton.